हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द सैंडविच इलाइजा सैंडविच इलाइजा इज यूज्ड टू डिटेक्ट द प्रेजेंस ऑफ स्पेसिफिक एंटीजेंस इन द सैंपल एंड आल्सो क्वांटिफाई देम सपोज वी वांट टू डिटेक्ट द प्रेजेंस ऑफ ए एंटीजन इन अ सीरम सैंपल यूजिंग सैंडविच इलाइजा फॉर दिस वी विल रिक्वायर फ्यू थिंग्स द फर्स्ट थिंग is the antibodies specific to the antigen to be detected so in this case we want to detect the presence of a antigen that's why we will need anti a antibodies second and the most important thing is enzyme linked antibodies against the antigen to be detected so in this case we will need enzyme linked anti a antibodies the enzyme coupled to the antibodies can be horse radish peroxidase alkaline phosphatase or beta galactosidase substrate of these enzymes are chromogenic in nature means the substrate is converted into a colored product by the action of enzyme for example horse radish peroxidase converts its substrate that is tmb into a blue colored product so for detection of a antigen we will require these two important things anti a antibodies and enzyme linked anti a antibodies in the first step a micro titer well is coated with anti a antibodies like this the coating is mediated with the help of coating buffers after this the sample containing a antigen is added to the well a antigen from the sample will bind to the coated antibodies like this there can be many antigens in the sample so such non specific antigens will not bind to the antibodies this unbound antigens can be removed with the help of washing like this after this enzyme linked anti a antibodies are added to the well these antibodies will bind to the antigens which are already bound to the coated antibodies so as you can see the antigen is sandwiched between two antibodies that's why the technique is called as sandwich elisa after incubating the enzyme linked antibodies well is washed to remove unbound enzyme linked antibodies like this and then chromogenic substrate is added to the well enzyme bound to the antibodies will convert the substrate into the colored product now tell me what the appearance of color indicates since the color appeared it means the substrate is converted into the product and it means the enzyme linked antibodies they are present in the well and why enzyme linked antibodies are present in the well this is because the a antigen was bound to the specific antibodies so in short the development of color indicates that your a antigen was present in the sample the intensity of the color is directly proportional to the concentration of antigens so by just taking absorbance of the color one can determine the concentration of antigen also but what if color is not developed this means the antigen is not present in the sample so in this case if color does not appears it means the a antigen is absent in your sample so in so in this way sandwich elisa is used to detect the presence of a particular antigen in the sample as well as to determine its concentration if you are interested in studying indirect elisa and competitive elisa please click on the link given below in the description thank you very much